Hello everyone, this is Jay Wolf with Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. When we last left off, I had not found the treasure room yet, but uh, had an awesome, awesome first floor of this game, and I just want to keep that pace up because I don't think I'll have any problem beating the boss if this keeps up. In fact, even at this point in the game, I'm, I'm pretty set. I think I can handle pretty much anything the game can throw at me now. I mean, six regular heart containers, and I think I have six and a half or seven soul hearts, and I'm not even done. This is only like the... This is like Caves 1, so this is like the third level of... I don't remember there, eight, nine. So I have a lot more to look forward to, too, hopefully. Uh, I don't think we've encountered the, the walking spider flinger, but that's... There's three varieties of these guys. The red one obviously shoots out the, just the shock of blast to tears. Uh, green, obviously, as you can see, shoots the poison or the, the poison explosion. And that white one just spawns spiders. So they're they're all really kind of bad. You want to definitely kill them. Uh, let's see what I got. I am excited. Halo of flies, not too bad. As I, as I already have one orbital, the cube of meat, this will actually fill up my orbitals completely. You can only have three, so it gives me the other two I need, so there we go. Uh, so, on top of everything else I've been endowed with this game, uh, I get three orbitals. Nice. P pretty good shape right now. So let's actually see this little guy has to offer us. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a really good idea from him. So let's see. Wow, come on. Do better than that. Okay, that works. Not a horrible item to get from him. This is Miter again. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of soul hearts, I can tell. Man. Not too shabby. And if I can get a coin, I can hopefully get a couple free keys. Or just get a free key. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the flat penny. This is a trinket I don't think I've picked up yet. What it does, uh, I think I tried to explain it the other time too. If I pick up this coin, it has a, I believe, a 50% chance to give me a key. And it didn't trigger. But it does. Uh, I don't really need... I mean, I kind of do need keys, but uh, I'd rather have the safety cap right now. So I'll just uh, pass on that. Especially since we kind of cleared this floor. There's nothing really else for me to do. And there's that other soul heart, too. I can't get it, though, because I can't fly. If I could fly, I could pick up uh, the soul heart and that card, that two card, whatever that was. And we're going to get Gertie Jr. Okay, is it going to be like a double? No, a single Gertie Jr. Whoa. Yeah, he'll, uh, he'll zoom across the room. you got to be careful. Uh, but if you're, once you battle him enough, you, wow, I didn't know he moves when he does that too. That's kind of cheap. But uh, he be, his, his movements become pretty predictable. After you fight him a lot, you kind of can sense when he's going to just charge you. And he usually does drop uh, some kind of heart. I think it's like just a regular heart, but since I have Miter, it makes it a bigger chance for it to be a soul heart, which it was just given me. And also, I got the meat, which gives me another soul heart, or I'm uh, sorry, a heart container, which is always good, and another soul heart, just dropped from Gertie. So... I think I don't really I really can't do anything else on this floor. I'm going to call that a floor. Or actually we could see what the uh what that golden treasure chest was on the bottom. Yeah, you know, let's go do that. I'm feeling lucky. Watch there be like four health ups in there. Yeah. <laughs> That was worth it, okay.
And you gotta be careful too, you don't wanna pick something up right away, because uh, you do that little animation when you hold it over your head, and that can get you unnecessarily hit. I'll just pick it up at the end. Well, what that is, I believe that's, uh, let's see, that's the green syringe. I think that's Brave Rage. That's a good one to pick up. I think it gives you speed and damage boost. Or I could be wrong. No, maybe it's a Tears Up. Uh, let's pick it up. Speed and range up. Okay. Hey man, anything that gives you speed up is... That's gonna be good. My stats are just crazy right now. Come on. Think you can battle me? I don't think so, buddy. Wow. This has just been a treasure haul so far. I am at seven heart containers, at least five soul hearts, and this good amount of speed. And, and when you have a high speed too, it's really fun. You can dodge things so easily, and uh, it's just good all around to have. You just move around faster, move through the rooms faster. It's great. I'm definitely an advocate for the high speed stat. Dodge these guys faster, which is really good because they take an awful hard off. And that's not cool. So I say screw these guys. Ah, oh, you son. What the heck? Oh. Okay, that was a black tinted uh, knight. I was like, what is that? I thought it was like. I don't even. I don't even know. That that's kind of rare to see a tinted, like a black tinted knight. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Not that I can remember. Oh man, come on! Oh, turn around! Yes, they can even drop us. Uh, Troll bomb. Those tinted things drop something, but it doesn't have to be a good thing, as you can see. And these worms, uh, the spitter worms, they're kind of stupid, especially in this room, because they barely ever shoot north and south, and I can just kind of pick them up. Spikes on the ground. I don't think they ever really turn up or go down to face you. They're kind of a stupid enemy, unaware of their surroundings. Much like these. Ah, oh, yeah, but they can be augmented by that fire in the corner. So. You ever see a bunch of the the headless jumping guys? Make sure you put out any fires because they'll just get uh, it just buffs them. They get bigger jumps. I don't think they do any more damage to you, but they can they can just reach you easier. It's actually a little bit of a, um, an advantage. Uh, when I when I blew them up with the bomb, you notice that their uh, their skulls changed a little bit. Like they looked a little bit like uh, like they were wincing. Um, they'll stay like that until they're about to attack. So you can see when when their uh, when their face turns back to normal, they're about to get up and attack you. So it gives you a little bit of an indication. So uh, that can be a good thing. Uh, I'm gonna cut the video here. When we return, I'm going to uh, pick off the boss and we'll head to the next room. Thank you very much for watching.